come for a real one You just went out of your lane Next time you slide in the comments Put some respect on my name Today I'm going to do a hair mask video that I saw um, other people doing and I'm going to try it. Um, I suffer from psoriasis, um, which leaves my hair dry, flaky, um, so I'm trying to see what I can do to help with that. And I also have other things that I use on my hair as well, so we're going to just see this hair mask. So today I'm going to be using, um, I have a aloe vera hair that I already cut because I want to use the other half for something else. So I have my aloe vera. I have a avocado. We're going to be using 100% organic honey. I have some Helms mayonnaise, some organic castor oil. I have some tea tree oil. And then I have my strainer and my bowl because I'm going to strain the aloe vera so it's not clumpy i'm gonna put it in here and i have my strainer here and then i have a hair mask and i'm gonna leave this mask on my hair for about 30 45 minutes all right so the first thing i'm gonna start doing oh and i have a cutting board in front of me i don't know if y'all can see it but i also have a cutting board um so i'm gonna start to cut my aloe vera up and strain it so I'm going to turn the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm just going to start by slicing my aloe in half. As you get, that's the good part that you guys want. This part right here, that's the gooey part. I'm just going to go ahead and start taking out this inside. This is usually how I get all my gooey goodness out. You just be careful with your knife not to cut yourself. I want to bring this a little closer so I can see all that gooey goodness. Mm. And that's the good part that we want. We won't use this all, so I'm not gonna cut the whole thing. That's why I'm cutting in slices, and then I'll go ahead and put it in the refrigerator and probably use it for something else. I want to make sure. Aloe has some really good benefits, so that's why I really think I'm going to stick with using aloe because I think it'll really help, especially on my hair. And it smells so freaking good. And it's not the first time that I've used aloe. I just have never done this hair mask before. So... I've decided I was going to try it because right now my psoriasis, because the weather is changing, that's normally when my psoriasis acts up. So, and then if you guys want to try it too, you guys can also try it. And I think this will be the last little bit of aloe that I'm going to put and I'm going to use. So I'm actually going to grab me some paper towel and I'm going to put the aloe to the side because I'm not going to use any more aloe after that piece. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit my aloe to the side so it doesn't get everywhere. And then um, what I do is kind of 
like mash it so all the clumpiness will come out and it just drips into the bowl and that's why we need the strainer for it or you can use your hands if you prefer but I'm not going to use my hands So you guys can see. So I'm only taking out the inside of my aloe. Because we want all this gooey business for my dry hair. So my psoriasis, it, it's getting cold and the weather changes and your my body just recognizes it. So why not do this now? All right, I'm gonna bring my bowl closer. And I'm gonna just dump my aloe right in it. And you can get aloe at any grocery store. I got mine at ShopRite. Um, you can get it at ShopRite, you can get it at Acme. Um Normally, all the grocery stores have it, and it's in the um, where like your lettuce and um, veggies and stuff like that is. All right, so now we're just going to continue to strain it, kind of mash it because it's getting inside the bowl. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's in there. So, we want all this to come out. And then once I strain the aloe, it might be better if I did it with a fork. Okay, this aloe is a little stubborn. You know what else I got? Oh, we can blend it up. Nah, I don't feel like doing all that. Cause this strainer is not working. use my hand blender because I really feel like that would be better because this spoon ain't working yeah I thought the strainer method would work but it's not so I'm gonna throw these out and I'm going to get my hand blender blender here that we're going to use to blend that up so the aloe can get nicely distributed all right that's locked in place i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna plug this in work with getting it all blended. Yep. 
let me turn this speed down. There we go, because it has two speeds on it, so. doesn't look good but it's all blended now so that's cool that's what I wanted just to get it all blended and stuff and I think that kind of worked mm, come on really goodness alright so that that worked. So now it's all blended and stuff. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my good old avocado. And I heard avocado has some great, great benefits as well. So, that's so why I really feel like these two alone should be great for my hair. Oh, look at that. Y'all see that? And I'm going to take my spoon and go ahead and get all this out. Oh, this avocado is so nice. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and get all that in there. It's amazing what plants and vegetables and different stuff do for your body and your hair and your skin. All right, so I emptied all that one out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this big old nut out right there. Ooh, almost dropped it. Scoop all this out. Perfect. I'll go ahead and put this in the trash. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some the Hellman's mayonnaise. And I'm not going to use a lot of this because, and don't worry, I don't use this to eat with. I got a whole nother one in my refrigerator. I can trash this if I want to, which I think I probably will. Actually, I know I will. There's no problem. All right, so just two scoops of that. Next, I'm going to take my organic honey. And honey uh, her also has some great benefits. So I'm gonna take two. I'll do one more thing of honey. I like honey. 
Then I'm gonna take some of my castor oil. And the good thing about this is it does say hair and skin, so. Look at that. And I'm not gonna do a lot of the tea tree oil because it's, it is strong and I didn't want to put it in my mix by itself because with these type of oils you have to use some type of um, essential oil with it or a carrier oil you know like the carrier oil and essential oils and stuff you got to kind of mix them with something you can't just put them by yourself I think I'm gonna have to use a fork after I'm done getting that all scooped in I'm going to add just a couple drops of the tea tree oil. I'm just going to mash all this together so I can get all everything incorporated. I'm going to actually show you guys what I'm doing here what it looks like doesn't look good but the benefits of it I'm sure is good and I think I just want to get all this avocado mashed up so I don't want any and clumpy all in my hair. Ooh, my hand's getting tired. cut my hair so many times and I keep it cut I don't like a lot now that I'm getting older I really don't want a lot of hair anymore like I, I wear a lot of wigs and stuff but underneath of my wigs I do try to keep my hair healthy because number one because I have the psoriasis and it um It tends to dry a lot, so this is why we're gonna do this um, hair mask treatment. And I will show y'all the before and the after of me using it, because I'm gonna leave it on my hair for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. lift you guys up some so you can see inside my bowl a little bit better like I said I know it doesn't look look good but gonna go ahead and add my tea tree oil just a couple drops inside like I said it's strong so that's it that's all I'm adding that. I 
I'm not animated. But I know tea tree oil has a lot of benefits, so that's why I said let me go ahead and incorporate tea tree oil inside of the mix. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more honey. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Cause honey has, I heard a lot of benefits. A lot, a lot of benefits. If you've ever done this mask, can you comment down below and let me know what you thought about it? Um, Cause like I said, I have never used it. So, and I've heard Cardi B actually um, did a video on her, how she and her daughter uses this hair mask. I don't know if she used the same ingredient. She probably did. Um, but she also uses this. Um, avocado and aloe and stuff like that so and like I said you guys can let me know what you think about it and if you've ever used it I'm just trying to get this avocado all blended I could have used a hand mixer but I'd rather do it this way. I see that. A little bit more castor oil in it. obsessed with this honey but now I feel like I want a little bit more and I think I will incorporate just a tad of my apple cider vinegar and it is with the mother so I'm just gonna put just a little bit of that because apple cider vinegar does my body does my hair good so I'm just gonna add just a cap full of that because apple cider vinegar is a little strong. But it does have really good benefits. So I didn't put that much of it. If you guys can see, it's not that much. Only did a cap full of that just to add that into it because. Cider vinegar has a lot of good benefits. Alright, so that's the consistency of it. Doesn't look good, but I know once I put it on my hair. It should be fine. Because as y'all can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I have like white patches in my hair. And it flakes up a lot. Like all right here. You see like where you see like these white spots on my, around my edges and stuff. That's from the psoriasis. And I get that a lot. So, especially like, like I said, when the winter months start to come and it start to get cold outside, it really, 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 really really is bad don't talk about my hair i know i'm bald headed but like i said i've been cutting my hair and i want to keep it cut but i also got to keep it healthy so i'm gonna go and run my utensils 
over to the sink and I'll be back in the jiffy. All right, so I'm back. I went and grabbed my strainer again in a different bowl because I am actually gonna strain um, the mixture only because I feel like it's a little thick. So that's what I'm about to do now. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pour the mixture inside of my strainer. Cause I don't want all that olive vera, I mean, um, avocado and, and the rest of the olive vera stuff to get inside of the mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour all that inside and hopefully it'll strain good which I see it doing it's trying to come through I mainly want to get all that clumpiness out so if y'all can see that's what the strainer does Seems a little blocked. So I'm gonna go ahead. And just keep wiping the bottom of my bowl off. Or the strainer, I'm sorry, wiping the bottom of the strainer off. And just strain it all out. It seems like a tedious process, it is, but in the end, it's all worth it. And if I make a mess, I can always clean it up, so I'm not really worried about making a mess. If y'all can see it, I'm actually bringing y'all up a little bit higher so you guys can see exactly what not too close, but doing see how smooth it's coming out now because i'm straining it and it'll leave all the clumpy stuff not that it's not good but i just don't want it in the mixture we want a nice smooth hair mask
You know what I didn't do, guys, that I still can do? Add an egg. Eggs have a good benefit, too. And that's protein. So I think I will. I'm going to go grab an egg, too, and throw it in there. I'm going to get all the rest of this goodness out of here. And this is what's left, as you guys can see. So it should be almost done. And I don't have a lot of hair, so. This actually... That's what's left. I'm not going to worry about that little bit because we got majority of it out. I'm just going to scrape that off. Yeah. We got majority of it off, so. All right. And I'm going to go run this to the kitchen and I'll be right back. So I'm going to grab an egg. And I'm going to put it in the side. And I'm going to feed it some more. All right, I'm only going to add one egg. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crack my egg and add my egg yolk in there. And we're going to just trash this. All right, and that's all I'm adding. I'm not adding nothing else to this. Mmm, there we go. Look at that. I'm gonna whisk it, whisk it, whisk it to all that egg gets distributed. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have, I don't know why. Something is saying add more honey, I'm sorry. I had to add more honey. Told y'all, I'm obsessed with honey. I like honey. All right, good enough. I'm gonna go put my cutting board back over here. And I'm gonna cover my aloe vera. I'm gonna cover our aloe up. you don't want this leaking in the refrigerator. So we're gonna go ahead and just cover that on up, you know? I'm just gonna fold it down, and fold it over, fold it over, and we can use this another day, just like that. All right. So, because I know this is going to make a mess, I'm going to go grab me some gloves. And I'll be back. 
All right, so now we're in the new scenery. We've mixed our products, we've cut our products, we got all our stuff in there. All right, so we have our mixture. So I have my mixture here. Show y'all my mixture. So this is my hair mask mixture that I've mixed all up. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in our hair. So I have a glove and I also have a um, shower cap because I'm going to leave this on for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glove on because I don't want this stuff getting all over my hands. Yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start applying the mask Set that in there. and we're just gonna go ahead and start applying the mask and I'm gonna show you guys that I'm applying it. So while we're letting this sit on our hair, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna wash our dishes. You know, this is gonna sit for about 45 minutes. So we're gonna let it sit, guys. So you guys can watch me wash the dishes.
maybe while we wait, we can pick up dinner for tonight. So, I'm thinking tonight for dinner, maybe we'll have some fish. tonight I know and meatballs yes. I think that'd be a great idea so we're gonna go ahead and get our put our meatballs out for dinner and I have another pack of meatballs for dinner our little so yeah we're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs i'm gonna take you guys over to let's see how full my freezer is take y'all over to my pantry area where we keep all of our goody goodies so uh, some of the goody goodies this is where we keep some of the goody goodies. So we're gonna make some spaghetti tonight. Yes. We're gonna make some spaghetti and meatballs. All right, after all that, I found the garlic bread. It was all the way at the bottom. The box is a little beat up, but guys, we have garlic bread. Yay. So we got our meatballs. We got our nice spaghetti noodles. And this is going to be what my kids are probably going to want for lunch. They love mussels. So they're probably going to eat this for lunch. While I'm still under, you know, my little mask thing. So yeah, that's going to be for lunch, dinner lunch dinner everybody say hi to jasper hey hi jasper took the dog out for a walk within that 45 minutes yeah dude say hi jasper So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wash this out of my hair. And we're gonna, after I rinse it out, I'm gonna follow up with 
my Aussie um, Miracle Moist Shampoo, Moisturizing Shampoo. And I also have my Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. So we're gonna follow up with these two after we rinse this out. majority of the flakes came out we still have some as you can see but my scalp is nice and clean now don't mind I do need a haircut so we're not going to talk about my uncut hair we're just going to act like that's not there but for the most part it did do what I needed it to do. It's nice and clean. And one application for this won't do it. I will have to do it multiple times. So, in me doing it multiple times, um, I will think, I think I will see results from the um, rinse, but I'm gonna probably do this probably like twice a week so I can get the best benefits from all the nutrients and ingredients from all the oils and stuff like that. But I do think that it helped. Um, I do see a nice bit of change in my hair from putting that on and leaving it on for about 45 minutes. Again, do not talk about my hair because I know it needs to be cut. I actually tried to do my own little cut job and it did not go as planned. So that's why this looks the way it looks, but it will be getting cut soon. But this is the back of my hair. And I also colored it, so that may be another reason why it looks the way it looks. So you guys can see the back. Hopefully you guys can see it. front and the middle 
it is nice and shiny but that is going to be the end of my video on this new hair mask that I tried and my psoriasis condition. I will keep you guys updated um, to let you guys know how my psoriasis is acting and if I continue to do the mask or not. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Please give me this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and turn on post notifications so you can see every time I upload a new video. Thanks guys. Bye.